Hey everybody, hope you all are well. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful Sunday, last day of the weekends. So hopefully you guys are having some fun wherever you are at. Uh, today is gonna be a little bit of a follow-up video in regards to a couple of videos I made not that long ago. I made some mentions in some of those videos, one of them being the Bunny Girl Senpai collection video, and then the other one being the status of the Bunny Girl Senpai manga, because we love Ryo Futaba, and part of her story, The Rascal Does Not Dream of a Logical Witch, has now been completed. If you guys didn't know, check out that video I made not that long ago if you guys haven't seen it already. Uh, but yeah, I got some pretty cool things that I wanted to show you guys here today. Um, I know there's a couple of people that were like, hey, if you end up getting some of this stuff, why not make a video about it? And I was like, hey, I got some time today. Might as well just go ahead and do it. So today I was going to show you guys a couple of cool things that I got not that long ago, starting off one of them being the actual uh, school version, the school uniform version of my Sakurajima. So I got a new figure. Yeah, now I have about, I think, seven figures now of mine. Uh, kind of growing that collection just a little bit more. Maybe one day I'll make a an update video on all the stuff that I end up getting. I promise I don't have a problem, uh, but that's probably just me huffing all the copium in the world. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I was going to show you guys the actual My Sakurajima figure that I got. So the school version of her, I took it out of the box not that long ago, and I wanted to show you guys all this. It looks amazing, absolutely gorgeous. They always do. Uh, the stand looks great. It has little My Sakurajima writing on it. Uh, has some little other verbiage and stuff on the back of it too. Uh, I like the little details that they added in some of these. So hopefully you guys can see this. Let me go ahead and show you guys a little bit more of it, turn it around, give you guys some different angles and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, I really, really love it. I'm mad at myself for not getting this a long time ago. Um, like I said, I'm surprised it wasn't like one of the first ones that I ended up getting at one point, but it looks amazing. Glad I got it now. A couple of things that I wanted to mention that do stand out for the figure, one of them being the actual shirt on her right now, not the jacket, but the undershirt for her uniform. I, I love the little detail on that because they show a bunch of the lines on it to make it look like it's actually like stitching from an actual shirt. I thought that was a nice little touch there. It looks really nice. Uh, of course, you love the bunny girl ears, look, the little clips and stuff that they always put on her um, that she does wear in the show and in the story and everything like that. Um, and then one other thing too, being the actual like effect of, you know, like her hair, or her clothes and stuff like that, making it seem like there's actual wind, like pushing her like clothes and hair to the side. You know, you could see her tie moving to the side, her hair's like blowing over there, and then her skirt's kind of blowing over there to the side too. Uh, it looks great. I absolutely adore it. And I'm super glad that I ended up getting this now, like I said, and hopefully in the near future, able to get a couple more of them to kind of bolster up that collection even more. Um, the next thing that I wanted to show too is what I mentioned in the status of the Bunny Girl Senpai manga video I made. Um, and it is the actual volume two or the part two of the Rascal Does Not Dream of a Logical Witch manga. I was able to get my hands on it. I was able to order it on Amazon Japan. Uh, obviously I can't, you know, read it or whatever. So it's more so for collection purposes because I don't read Japanese fluently, uh, but still really, really cool. I wanted to get it as a collection item and stuff to have all the Bunny Girl Senpai manga, maybe even in Japanese format. I only have the uh, volume three, part one, and volume three, part two now, of the Logical Witch in Japanese format, but still wanted to kind of start getting this together too. Um, and yeah, why not get it? It looks amazing. Love the cover, like I said before. There's some little advertisements here on the bottom uh, and the back and the front. Here's the back cover if you guys need to take a peek at that again, but it's awesome. I love the heck out of it. I love all the pictures and stuff that I've seen in here. I, I feel like this one in particular is um, at least out of the two that I have, this one has a lot more of like etchier scenes. Um, obviously some of them that we've seen in the actual story, like watching the anime and stuff like that. But uh, there's a lot of like etchy, like Ryo Futaba scenes in this part <laughs> that I got here. Um, one of the things too that I really enjoyed that was in this as well is that the little transition chapter pages, you know, like it's going from chapter one to chapter three or like the intro part to chapter um, like three or something like that. I love all the pictures that they add in there. There's little cute Ryo Futaba. Hopefully you guys can see that. Cute little Ryo Futaba pictures of her in like different outfits. Like there's one of her, you know, in this cute one that I just showed right now, there's another one of her, I think in a witch outfit. I might be wrong on that, but it's, it's another more etchy one. I think this is one of her in like the picture or, 
in an outfit of Kaede, so kind of dressing up like in the little panda outfit that she always would wear. So this one's really, really cute. Um, but yeah, there's a bunch of different ones like that. I love it, it's amazing. Um, and I just wanted to make sure that I showed you guys something like that too, and showed you guys that you do have the availability to buy this if you guys do have an Amazon Japan account and you're able to just, you know, log in and order that stuff and get it shipped to you just for collection item purposes. Or if you guys do uh, read Japanese, then you guys can get this and read the story, you know? So that'd be pretty cool if you're able to do that. So now I have both parts one and two. If you can see right here a little bit, you can see that part two is a little bit more bulky than this one is, so a little bit more thick, has some more pages in it, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, I'm glad that I got both of these now, kind of starting up the collection in a different way, not just manga format in English, not just light novel format in English, but on the Japanese side too, you know, they have some cool new like covers and stuff like that as well, which is awesome. Um, and then the next thing, the last thing that I wanted to show was follow up for that collection video I made uh, was the thing that I missed, or at least that I was missing at that time, um, that I wanted to show you guys. It was this. So this was the other like little foam poster, little picture that I had of my Sakurajima that I was telling you guys like, hey, I don't know where this is at at the moment, but I'll end up finding it and showing it to you guys at some point. So uh, this is my other one that I have, which is really cool. It's like, you know, the little poster of the actual series and stuff that they would show my Sakurajima with the whole like purple, blue, dark little background and stuff. Uh, with all the jellyfish and whatnot, which looks really, really nice. So this is what I got here. Um, hopefully gonna be able to put this up somewhere. Not sure exactly where I'm gonna put it just yet. I don't have like a set spot I wanna put it. Maybe I can put it back over there where I have my other little um, like figure case. I finally got that up now. And then the actual like Japanese like uh, display picture that I have over there that I showed before. I'm probably gonna try to do something like that maybe and have like a little My Sakurajima area or something like that. But um, yeah, I got that and wanted to make sure I showed you guys it all. Um, but I believe that's the last bit of stuff that I did have that I wanted to show in today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I wanted to make sure that I just, you know, like I said, followed up on it. I know some of you wanted to kind of see some more of this stuff. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Uh, leave your comments comments down below, uh, letting me know your thoughts on what you guys think of some of the things that I have here or that I was able to pick up. Um, if you guys have some of these pieces of merch already, I'm not sure if some folks have the whole um, light novel or not light novel, the manga part two of Ryo Futaba's story, the logical witch manga there, um, because I know not a lot of people know that you can actually order off of Amazon Japan like that, but uh, just food for thought, you guys can. But yeah, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Give the video a like if you guys can, helps me out a ton and subscribe to the channel down below if you guys have not already and hit that notification bell if you guys have not because for some reason YouTube doesn't notify you all the time even if you subscribe to somebody but if you do hit that notification bell you will get notified for whenever I do upload a video or anything like that. I appreciate you all for watching. Have a great rest of the day, great Sunday and I'll catch you guys later. See ya. Bye bye. <music>